Stop! Are you crazy? Here at the game room, we've been noticing a couple of reoccurring themes that you might not have noticed. Uh, one of them being, we're always wearing pants. The other one, we always seem to be promoting a nice festive holiday beverage. Better served cold, not bitter, as you learned on our last episode. And today's game, well, it has a lot to do with the bitter beer face that we've been talking about earlier this week. It's another reoccurring theme in video games. It's a medical condition also. Yes, and it's, it's Do really tragic. It's yeah. very, very tragic. And, well, Jalico isn't helping the situation any by releasing this game carrier. It's yet again promo promoting bitter beer. And uh, let's take a look at this footage and, you know, you'll pretty much get the idea. Here's a nice, bright, cheerful game for you called Carrier. Woo! -hoo! We like this game because it's nice and bright, and we show it to our children. I, I don't know if anyone can actually see this game at all on the internet. It's one this of those games. Yeah, this game is just so dark. I try. I re we really tried to brighten this as much as we possibly could. And we even threw bleach on it. Yes. No, just kidding. But yeah. anyway, it's we still have a lemony fresh smell. You know, a girlfriend did this to me once. Scared the shit out of me. Her head opened up and she tried to grab you? Yeah. She turned into a plant. Tried to molest me. I said no. So you ever see different strokes when uh, Arnold, you know, almost got molested? That's what I said. I said no. I said hell no. Oh, yes. wait. There's a plant head guy again. There's more bitter beer face for you. That's the worst case of bitter beer face what I've ever seen. <laughs> Where the head actually opens up and there's a tentacle sticking out from the middle of it? Yeah, that's... Uh, well, you know, that'd be That's interesting. Like you could actually drink beer that way. Like, you could just stick your head onto the bar and, like, kind of cover a beer with, like, your tentacles and just, like, you know, lift it back up. cover a few beers with that, yeah. That's right. Now, who, who's this blonde guy who looks like the, the uh, who's, who's the blonde guy in Scooby-Doo? Captain Ingalls. His no, last name is Ingalls. Okay, the names in this game Fred. are totally asinine. The one that was banging Daphne. Ingalls. This guy's last name is Ingalls. And then... Sounds like an honor student. It's, like, ridiculous. And this guy's, like, supposed to be tough. He's supposed to be a hard ass. But anyway, the graphics in this game are very good. I think so. I mean, they're not as good as Code Veronica. This game was this game was really good until Code Veronica came out. Yeah, you like got I this said. about I mean, a month before Code Veronica. We've been it? sitting on it for a while. Yeah, now this guy here, he sounds like Regis Philman on crack. This guy, all right, when he gets up to the computer, you got to listen to this guy's voice. It's just totally ridiculous. I can't believe it. This computer's running wild. It won't tell me anything about the ship. The security lock is complicated. The security system is complicated. Ah, uh, here we got people getting shot in the stomach. That's cool. Repeatedly, and yes. he's still alive. Now this is me repeating and shooting him again, and he's still alive and eating me. Now, don't you get to play a guy and a girl in this game? Yes, you do. The girl you get much later in the game, and it really doesn't change all that much in the game. Uh, it's got a pretty good plot line. It, Despite the fact that you are trapped on an aircraft carrier the entire time, it does have a nice variety of environments, but it does I'm give you that sort of, uh, you know, feeling of, you know, confinement. No, but it, it is a game, and it's, it is a good game in its own right. Absolutely. It was it was cool. I mean, I, I, I didn't like it as much as you, but then again, I don't like this genre as much right. as you do. So, I, I personally like Resident Evil, and I like Fear Effect better than this, but I certainly would not be, you know... Fear Effect definitely had a better plot line, slitting but it was too short. The, the slitting this wrists. game, this game is actually much more difficult than Fear Effect. Yeah. Mmm, slugs. Giant slug. How come they haven't made... They've made movies about killer sharks, killer whales, orco, um, killer... Orca. Uh, orca, shut up. And what's that, that giant the boat alligator? Jaws, by the way. No, killer slugs. There's Lake Placid. Not was a single cool killer movie. slug movie. Everybody, if you you know, when you go to the video store, rent Lake Placid because that movie's funny. Also, rent Ernest Goes to Camp. Anyway, um, there's that giant worm. Anyway, yeah, the footage is a little dark, we understand. But this is, you know, regardless, this is a good game. What's the plot about again? It was a better game before Resident Evil Code Veronica came out. Yeah. That's I'll be perfectly honest. It was a really good game. I was totally enjoying it. But then Resident Evil came out and... Uh, Knocked its socks off, pretty much. It's definitely a solid game. It was a good sort of stepping stone up to Code Veronica. If you're going, it was better than Resident Evil 3. From I PlayStation. Personally, yeah, personally, I thought so. But uh, Resident Evil 2 wasn't bad, but, you know, we'll, we won't go there. Anyway, it's a solid game. It's definitely worth a, easily a rental. It actually have, has a lot lower price point. I can talk. It has a lower price point than Resident Evil Code Veronica. So, you know, it's... It's definitely he, a good game. He's smart and he's sexy. Who knew? Wow. All right. Dave, you're a great catch. Thanks. 
but like when I heard Carrier, I thought you know I saw the picture like the guy in the cover like if you hear it you're already dead, you know kind of like the which back, is like bullshit the boys or something. Yeah, it's total bullshit because if you can hear him, you still have plenty of time to shoot him. But you know, but the Carrier, I thought it was game. it was like a virus, like something was being carried, and then yes. I, then you go play the game and you realize it takes place on an aircraft carrier, which actually upset me because it has a double meaning. Wow, Dave. Ho oh. ho. I didn't. I don't like playing games where you're locked into like an aircraft carrier. Like Code Veronica, you're all over the fucking place. You're just everywhere, and it's a lot cooler. So it's a rental. If you're really into this kind of game, it's a purchase. Check it out. Yes. You know, check play Code Veronica, play Carrier. Nothing wrong with it. Not at all. But you know, see what your mama says. You could also take that thirty nine bucks and go blow it on a case of Newcastle or something. You know, if you're eight or nine, I don't know. Yes. Whatever. Whatever.